came out. So, uh, is it super important to get the colors exactly right? Yes. Why? Because I want to become an artist. You do? And I accidentally put my, uh, Ariel's <laughs> <laughs> She kind of pink, isn't she? Yeah, this looks like a wet to me, but it was actually a pink. Oops. Oh, well, she's still beautiful. So, I got this book from the library for some inspiration. And I got to reading it, and I was thinking to myself, well, golly gee, this looks super familiar. Hmm. I feel like I've seen that shape somewhere before. I've seen it too. Where could it be? We have this hay storage tunnel that we don't use. If you can't tell, we don't even bother to mow around it right now. Sam built this last year. I'll link the video here. It actually was a great hay storage tunnel, but we had a massive hailstorm come through and it tore the tarp up. And then that means all the rain got in, which just destroyed the hay. So it's it's got bad hay in it now and I've been using the junk hay in the garden to keep weeds down and it's actually worked great for that. But the actual storage tunnel, we haven't, don't need it for that anymore. So we're going to convert it into a greenhouse using the theory in that overwinter tunnel I saw in the gardening book. So we need to remove the blue tarp, we need to clear it out, and we're going to put clear tarps, clear plastic tarps over the top. And the theory is, if it works the way it should, we should be able to grow um, cold weather hardy vegetables like lettuces and carrots and radishes through most of the winter and enjoy fresh greens and root type vegetables all winter. Obviously it needs mowed, which I'm going to ask Sam to do for me when he gets home because the weed eater that he has is super heavy and also it's just hard to weed eat when you have little babies around. I'm going to ask him to do that for me, but we can still empty it out and take the tarp off and get it ready. And I got some helpers who are hiding inside thinking that it's going to be fun work, but it's going to be hard work. Get him? Yeah! Oh, he flew away. That was a good try. Okay, now we need to empty it out. I'm not sure about the strength quotient here in order to get bales of hay out. We're gonna try our best. I got muscle, I can feel it. Okay. I am gonna leave some on the bottom. So this is different than a winter tunnel because it's raised off the ground. There's uh, pallet boards underneath all that hay. So I can't plant directly in the dirt. So I'm going to use some really big tubs I have, which you can kind of see over there. They're buried in all the weeds that aren't being used in the garden. And I'm going to use them in there to plant things in. And I'm thinking if I keep a layer of straw on the bottom, it'll just help keep the chill out, the draft out. But we need to get the big bales out of the back. I still want them for my fall garden. So I'm going to stack them somewhere else and then use our yucky old tarp because they just need to stay semi-dry until, I don't know, a month from now. And then I'm going to use them in my garden. Is 
kind of dirty and stuff because of that big rain. So it's very, it's really usable for planting, which mom has a full garden of that. I'm actually gonna keep that back ledge. I'm gonna plant small pots up there. And Ivy wants to get me some scissors. I'm gonna break up the couple little already mashed on hay, hay bales that are left in here. I'm gonna spread them out on the floor. And I'll put big pots on top of that. This is just an idea of proof of concept. If this works and we can actually grow stuff in here at least longer, if not all winter, then next year we'll button up the floor instead of using the straw. Because I realize the straw is going to attract animals and bugs and it's going to get gross and it's going to decompose and get uneven and all that kind of stuff. So this is just about proof of concept over the winter that this idea of the plastic wrapped winter uh, tunnel is worth it and it's a good greenhouse design for where we live. So we're going to test it out as cheaply as possible and then let you know. We'll keep you up to date and if it's working really well then we're going to button it up better next year and, and take all of the straw out. Pack down the hay, jump, jump, jump. Don't get yourself so wrong. It's just a big part and there's a lot of hay. Yeah, you want hay. That's how cats land on their feet. <laughs> Can I try one more time? <laughs> yep. Go, Tooties. <laughs>